Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless you today, tomorrow and always. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I just want to ask for a careful listening to this video. Uh, carelessly looking, listening to it, it might sound like uh, this preacher here is um, it's living in denial. It's not living in denial. You know, the, the, what I understand about, you know, from what he's trying to preach is actually the truth. There is the kind of life you would live, you will have in Christ Jesus. Elemental forces of darkness will lose control over your life. There is the kind of um, person you will become in Christ Jesus. You would find out that even demons can confess that Paul, I know, Jesus, I know, and may have to ask some persons, who are you? Let me tell you this story, and I would like you, I will leave you to watch this video. A, a parent brought their daughter to their pastor who has been living in sexual immorality uh, for deliverance. And uh, while she, he shouted in the name of Jesus, the demon in the girl, you know, blotted out and began to reveal the dirty things that the man has been doing, you know, the kind of life that he has been living. And, you know, in fact, disgraced the man in the presence of the mother and the father. And so shamelessly, he left them and they took the girl and, and they left. So, um, but that was a wake up call for the for the uh, child of God, you know. So he declared retreat for himself, went on a fast for seven days, crying for God's mercy. Not really that he was not anointed, not that he was not having the Holy Ghost in him, but the spirit of sin, you know, silenced the power of God, so to speak, in him. And so he did that seven days personal retreat. And on his way back, he sent for the girl, asked the parents to bring the girl. Now, what happened was that the demon in the girl did not even wait for the pastor to lay hand on the girl. The demon just cited the pastor and the fire that the man carried, you know, uh, made the demon shout and left the girl immediately. Now, I'm saying this and I understand, I know that you understand that this is not exclusive right of pastors. Every child of God can cast away demons. Every child of God can live a victorious life. So this is what I think that this video is addressing. The pastor is not, is not denying the fact that there are a spirit spouse, but the fact that you can develop your life to the point where you can live above those spirits. That is what it's available in the video. So I will, I will encourage you to be a careful listener and gain what you have to get in the video. I'll be seeing you in the next video till then from me to you. Shalom. There are preachers you should never listen to. Preachers that talk to you about the mystery of bloodline. Teachings on the spirit of rejection. Teachings on, on evil altar, evil foundation. Teachings on redemption of firstborn. Teachings about the mystery of broken foundations, ancestral roots, the mystery of conditions surrounding your bath, mysteries of the watches of the night, mystery of evil covenant. These are real occultic teaching, mystery of the three gods, ancestral forces, foundation power, ancestral powers, mystery of evil flow, mystery of family names. They will say you are suffering because you're, you need to change your name and the site Abraham is not your name that is making you suffer. It's your nature, marine spirit, land spirit, placenta manipulation, the mystery of double life, the mystery of evil marks, the mystery of evil smell, and all the kinds of things, the mystery of firstborn, the mystery of evil gates, the mystery of the strong man of your father's house or your mother's house, and they keep you busy praying, praying, praying against phantom spirit. These things will never prepare you for the next life. And you keep giving and giving and giving, and the guy keeps smiling to the bank, you, you keep smiling to hell. I'm not saying demons do not exist. But what is God's solution to paralyzing the demonic? Is you becoming a son. That is all. The days of such nonsense are over. If, every, if anyone deceives you, don't deceive yourself. Come to the place of knowledge. Your soul is too precious to be exposed to the wrong teaching.
there are preachers you should never listen to. Let me run through some of them if you want to make heaven. Number one, preachers that talk to you about the mystery of bloodline, that there are battles in your life that come from your bloodline and all of that stuff. And they quote scripture, maybe Ezekiel 16, 4 to 6, and um, which has nothing to do with bloodline. I have taught Ezekiel 16, 4 to 6. Maybe we'll look for the message and pray them on this station. It has nothing to do with bloodlines. And uh, teachings that have to do with blood speaking and blood crying and blood dying because of all of that stuff. Teaching that has to talk about your, your spiritual life being polluted. They are not talking about pollution in the sense of holiness. They are talking about pollution in the sense of captivity. And they say witchcraft causes dark professions and all kinds of polygamies, background, uh, uh, all kinds of stuff that they teach. Teachings on the spirit of rejection is not going to help you this like end time. Teachings on, on evil altar, evil foundation, they will not help you. Teachings on redemption of firstborn, because you are firstborn though, you have to redeem yourself. That is a terrible scamming. Teaching of family altars and, 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 the, and the, all of that stuff. Things that God, Jesus, never preached about. Teaches about the mystery of broken foundations, ancestral roots, and everything that they talk. They actually highlight the problems that people are going through, and they blame the wrong thing for being responsible. You see, I grew up in a church system that blamed the wrong things for being responsible for our problems. And we kept praying and fasting until one day I sat on the preacher who expounded. Hosea chapter 4. I know Hosea chapter 4 very well. But the man took that there and he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And he said, the Bible knows my people are destroyed because of demons, but for lack of knowledge. The man who used to be my friend, and we sat down, we reasoned together, I said, wow, wow, it's true. We are not destroyed because of devils. We are destroyed because we lack knowledge. Which knowledge? The knowledge of God. The doctrine of Jesus. There's a doctrine of Christ that when it enters your spirit, all this nonsense will not come near your dwelling. And will, it will restore you back to your ranking as a son of God. So they bring all kinds of teachings, mystery of evil flow, mystery of family names. They will say you are suffering because you're, you need to change your name. And they cite Abraham who was changed from Abraham to Abraham, Sarah to Sarah, Sarai to Sarah, and all that stuff. They forget that it's not a change of name, it's a change of nature. It's not your name that is making you suffer. It's your nature. It doesn't matter what your name is. If your nature is bad, you go through hell on the face of the earth. And they spoke about the mystery of conditions surrounding your birth. They said because you are born this way and the other way, as a result, you, your life will begin to go this other way. Those are confusionists, and they cite some scriptures to even validate their lies. And they preach about the mysteries of the watches of the night, and the mysteries of evil altar, and money, giving of money. These things will never prepare you for the next life. Stop listening to those preaching. They will never prepare you. Do you know that? They will not even give you peace in this life. Come to talk of peace in the next life. Look at people who are cycled around those teachings. They are always going for deliverance. They are always facing this attack. On the other attack, they have to keep raising altars, keep giving money to preachers, sacrificial offerings so that they will be free. And if attack comes, preacher will, will give you one reason why the attack came. And because you are because, because you are not established in the word of God, you follow and you keep giving and giving and giving. And the guy keeps smiling to the bank. You, you keep smiling to hell because you are not being taught the true gospel that will help you. So they bring teachings like mystery of evil covenant. They bring teachings like mystery of the three gods. These are real occultic teachings. Mystery of the three gods. God of the night, God of the belly, God said, and all of that stuff. And they now begin to twist things in the scriptures. And the very people who are preaching about these gods, actually their belly is their God, where they preach the gospel because of the kind of money they can make from people. So all these things are fabricated. Ancestral forces, foundation power, ancestral powers. They have, I'm not saying demons do not exist. 
But what is God's solution to paralyzing the demonic? Is you becoming a son. That is all. Once you get back to your ranking of sonship, second in command to, to, to Elohim, no devil will come near your dwelling. Curses will not even be able to speak in your life again. How do we get back to that position? That's why you need a church that will function as an apostolic construction site. Not a church that will function as a money-making machine. Where the pastor preach about tithe. If you, don't, if you don't bring tithe, he's very angry with you. But if you fall into adultery, he doesn't care. That is a pastor that is preparing you for heaven. Sorry, preparing you for hell. You fall into adultery, does not care. You fall into fornication, does not care. But you don't pay your tithe, he gets angry. He begins to tell you the causes that are coming. Not knowing that it is sin that brings causes today. It's not, not, not tithing. Before the cross, no tithing will bring a cause. After the cross, no tithing brings no cause because it has been broken. It brings no cause. Rather, God will empower you with revelation so that you can now become faithful in your tithing. Are you understanding me? So, you commit ad adultery brings causes. Fornication brings causes. But the pastor is not pissed up by adultery. He's not pissed up by a lot of... In fact, some preachers even arrange their members to snatch other people's wives. Or they carry girls who are singing in the choir. The man have his own wife. But he's carrying other girls who are singing in the choir. And handing over. So, they exchange women like clothes in the church to appease those who are giving fat offering. They don't talk about those wickedness and sinfulness. They talk about giving. If you are in such a church, you are not being prepared for the ages to come. You are being prepared for the judgment to come. Because there is a judgment that is on its way. And everybody who die without the true Christ in their character are not going to make heaven. And they speak about witchcraft powers. Speak about all kinds of twisted teachings. A, a spirit, marine spirit, land spirit, placenta manipulation. All these kind of stupid teachings that you are giving your attention to. Placenta manipulation, the mystery of double life the mystery of evil marks, the mystery of evil smell, and all the kinds of things, the mystery of firstborn, the mystery of evil gates, the mystery of the strong man of your father's house or your mother's house, and they keep you busy praying, praying, praying against phantom spirit. Praying, 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 going to the mountain, visit here and there. Uh, they will say, go to Nigeria to go and carry water, and you fly like, 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 like a, a victim of a con man or a con woman. You go there and carry the water and come back. And they, uh, and they, or if they don't tell you to go to Nigeria, they bring the Nigerians here to you. Those scammers, they don't go to Nigeria to bring true preachers. They go to Nigeria to bring thieves to come and to come and help them steal money from you in, using the Bible in their hands. The days of such nonsense are over. If every if anyone deceive you, don't deceive yourself. Come to the place of knowledge. That's why in this school of Bible prophecy, we are showing you dimensions of things that you must become part of. You must stop listening to all this kind of stupid gospel, stupid teachings. They are not helping you. They are only making you a constant fighter. Going for deliverance, going for deliverance, going for deliverance. They are not restoring you to the place of sonship. We are no weapon formed against which shall prosper. We are the Bible says we shall be in righteousness. We shall be established. We shall be far from oppression. It will not come near us. A realm of divine preservation. You must decide to choose who to listen to. If you keep listening to this kind of naughty, naughty preaching coming from ignorant and greedy preachers, you are signing yourself for eternal damnation. Your soul is too precious to be exposed to the wrong teaching. 